The care with which IMI builds and tests its weapons stems from more than a concern for the balance sheet. I was uh, serving in the IDF, in Israel Defense Force, for 27 years. So I know exactly how much a soldier depends on his weapon. Producing weapons is more than a business here, because you have to remember that sometimes the small arms we are producing are coming to our children that are serving in the army. Most Israelis feel that their nation should remain armed and ready for war. Among Israel's more menacing weapons, the Negev machine gun. It spits out NATO standard 5.56 ammo, loaded via belt feed or magazine. One of the pluses that the Negev has is it's a 5.56 caliber. Of course, lots of machine guns have that now, but this allows you to carry a lot more ammunition, especially in belts because the ammunition is smaller and lighter. The Negev can fire individual shots in semi-automatic mode or blaze away at a rate of 1,000 rounds per minute on automatic. The Negev can even be carried like an assault rifle. This versatile weapon can also serve as a grenade launcher. Grenades are typically used against light armor or fortifications and are made in a range of explosive power for different targets. The most potent grenade can punch a hole in a half inch of steel. Instead of a standard round, a special bullet is used to launch the grenade. It contains no projectile, only powder. One cartridge is chambered for each grenade. The grenade itself is easily loaded. It simply slides onto the barrel. The uncertain political climate in the Middle East has led to the production of a souped-up sniper version of the Negev. This weapon is equipped with a high-powered night vision scope. 